Welcome to CNN Newsroom. I'm Monita Rajpal at CNN Hong Kong. Here are the top stories. Anti-government demonstrators went on a rampage today in Thailand's capital. Protesters stormed the state television studios and a police club compound hoping to find in battle Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat. As you see on the right of your screen, police fired tear gas outside government house. Today's uh, developments come after street fighting in Bangkok turned deadly on Saturday, killing at least two people and injuring nearly 50 others. Let's get the very latest now from Paula Hancock, who joins us now live from the Thai capital. Paula, what's the situation now as you see it? Well, Manita, I'm standing outside government house here in the center of Bangkok. This is really the seat of power. Paula, thank you. Paula Hancock's there live from Bangkok. Both the president and prime minister of Ukraine are condemning a violent police crackdown on protesters in the heart of Kiev. At least seven people were hospitalized after riot police waded into the Saturday morning crowd gathered at Independence Square. Some three dozen protesters were arrested. Nearby St. Michael's Square, well, it's now a gathering point for those who are outraged with a government decision to back away from a trade agreement with the European Union. At Sunday church services across Scotland, special prayers will be said for the victims of Friday night's helicopter crash. In Glasgow, tarps cover the helicopter wreckage on top of a pub. It was packed with patrons Friday night when the chopper crashed through the roof. A star of the movie franchise, The Fast and the Furious, was killed Saturday in a car crash. Actor Paul Walker was in Southern California attending a charity fundraiser to benefit victims of Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. Today is the 25th annual World AIDS Day. It is billed as a day to unite in the fight against the disease, to show support for those living with the virus, and to remember those who died from it. Saturday a marks the final day of what was one of the quietest hurricane seasons in the Atlantic Ocean. Meteorologist Pedram Javahari is at the World Weather Center with those details. Pedram? Yeah, some pleasant news. Uh, you know, after last year seeing Superstorm Sandy impact the United States, some $50 billion. Indeed. All right, Pedram, thank you very much for that. Yep. And that is it for this edition of CNN Newsroom. I'm Onita Rajpal. Up next on CNN, Marketplace Europe.